Hi guys, welcome to the Anime Onensan. Today I'll tell you my top 5 coolest bankais in Bleach. Please subscribe to not miss any video and let me know what video would you like me to do the next time. So, at the number 5 spot is Ichigo. Tenta Zangetsu, unlike most other bankai, actually shrinks and instead of expanding its spiritual energy, it compresses it, allowing the user's physical power to increase vastly. This results in an actual change in Ichigo's clothes. At number 4 spot is Soifon. Upon activating Bankai, a pillar of Reiatsu shoots into the air before fading. Its appearance is that of a gold armor missile launcher base that encases Soifon's right arm and comes all the way above her shoulder to form a face shield that she uses to cover the right side of her face. The entire Bankai is made up of a large pointed gold cylinder with black markings, twice the size of Soifon herself. Before she activated her Bankai, Soifon wrapped a heavy metal sash around the building she stood on in preparation for the attack's massive recoil and the resulting powerful explosion. She uses her Bankai so rarely that it has remained largely unseen by the members of the Soul Society. Even her own lieutenant comments on having never seen it before. Soifon explains that she would prefer not to use her Bankai as she believes that it offends her pride as a covert op agent, because it is too large to hide, too heavy to move, and its attack is too flashy to kill. Being a ranged weapon of the artillery sort, Jakuho Raikoben has the ability to launch the missile attached to its base. To do so, Soifon must first raise and aim the huge missile, using the slits present in her face guard to be able to see while doing so. Once targeted, small fins extend from numerous points along the missile before it is fired. It then tracks its target for a precision strike. After a successful hit, the missile creates a powerful and massive explosion. Number 3 spot, Hitsugaya. Hitsugaya's Bankai causes ice to flow from Hyorimaru onto Hitsugaya, starting at his right arm, which ice forms onto in the shape of a dragon's head around his sword hand, encasing the sword up to the hilt, which also changes from the shape of a four-pointed star to that of an eight-pointed star. The ice continues forming up over his shoulders, with two large wings sprouting from his back and a long tail. The ice forms down his left arm and encases his hand, which ends in a claw. Hitsugaya's feet are encased in ice in a similar manner to his left hand, as they also end in claws. These new ice limbs are movable, and can be used as an extension of himself to aid in a battle. During some appearances of his Bankai, three flowers of ice form floating behind him, each consisting of four purple petals shaped like diamonds. These flowers melt away, petal by petal, as Itsugaya's battle progresses. Before talking about Yamamoto's Bankai, I would like to remember you guys, please subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. If you're liking this video, please give a thumbs up and let me know what video would you like me to do next time. Let's talk about now the number 2 spot, Yamamoto. Upon activation, any flames previously produced by Ryujin Yaka are absorbed into the blade. Zanga Notachi incorporates the full power of Yamamoto's flames into the blade. The flames within the blade burn anything it cuts out of the existence. Zanga Notachi has the side effect of depleting the moisture in an entire area, causing the air and the water to dry up. Yamamoto claims releasing his Bankai clads both his blade and his body in the flames of the sun, 
and it could incinerate the entire source society if left active for too long. And now, guys, the coolest one for me, Byakuya. Byakuya's Bankai is a much larger version of his Sembontakura's Shikai. To activate it, Byakuya drops his sword straight down. The sword does not have to be completely intact for Byakuya to activate his Bankai, as he can simply drop all the pieces at once with both hands. The sword faces into the ground as it was a pool of water. Energy reports expand out, turning the surrounding area dark, and within seconds, two rows of a thousand giant blades rise up from the ground. Those thousand swords scatter, and countless flying blades pierce the enemy. No one knows the exact number of blades generated, and no one can dodge or even see the movements of these blades. The number of blades is great enough that Byakuya can simultaneously use them for offense and defense. He commonly forms them into large masses to obliterate opponents instantaneously. As they move through the air like torrents of waves, they give the appearance of cherry blossoms flowing swiftly along the wind. Senbonzakura Kageyoshi's defensive use allows Byakuya to cover himself entirely in these tiny blades, forming a body shield. I like his Shikai, his Bankai is mentally controlled. While Byakuya can control the blades with his mind alone, using his hands allows him to do so more effectively, making the blades move twice as fast Similar to his Shikai, its attack is triggered with the phrase scatter. Byakuya's Bankai has several forms achieved by arranging the blades in different patterns. Each form presents a different advantage, such as increasing offense at the expense of defense. This variety of techniques makes Senbonzakura Kageyoshi extremely versatile. These techniques are activated by saying the name of the technique, followed by the name of his Bankai, Senbonzakura Kageyoshi. Well guys, that's it for today. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.